watching Tell me who's watching Who's watching me Hey guys, Andrew here. So I want to do another quick uh, video blog, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's not really a not really a rambling rant. I mean, I'm, I might go into a little bit of a rant or maybe even a ramble as I usually do. But um, this one's more about well, I know more about me, I guess you could say. But then again, it's more about people in general. <clears throat> and let's see. Well, today is actually the 5th of January, 2013, and for all of those doomsday sayers out there, hey, ha, made it past the apocalypse. Screw you. But anyway, but um, I read, actually, I didn't read. I heard an excellent quote. Uh, I want to say it was Wednesday morning. Uh, well, Wednesday morning I heard this awesome quote, and it really kind of sums up you know, how I want my year of 2013 to be, because quite frankly, for me, 2012, I had a few good points, but for the most part, 2012 for me sucked, and that's putting it mildly or putting it gently. So for 2013, I want to basically change my life, turn my life around, make it go in an entirely, well, not a new direction, I guess you could say, but a better direction. I mean, I had turned it around, you know, in previous years. And life was getting better for me. You know, 2011 was pretty good. 2012 was okay, not the best as I wanted it to be, or as good as I wanted it to be. But, I mean, you know, it could have been a lot better. And so 2013 is going to be a year of change. And not the – I'm not talking politically. I'm not talking, you know, Obama's promise of change or whatever he – you know, whatever. You know, politics aside – Forget about it. You know, I, politics is over and done with. Not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it right now. I mean, I can always, you know, do something, but really there's not a lot to be done. So, as I said, 2013, I want it to be my year of change. I'm going to change me. And I, getting back to what I said before, the quote that I heard was, and I don't recall who said it, but in order to change the, and the quote is this, and I quote, in order to change those around you, you must first change yourself. And it's really, I mean, when you think about it, it is completely and entirely true. By changing yourself, you're going to change the people around you by one of two ways, either quite literally changing the people as in changing who is around you, or changing the people as in, say, my group of friends is one way, if I change myself, change the way I think, change the way I act, change the way I, I dress, you know, or basically just change me. By changing me, like I said, one of two things will happen. Either they'll not want to be around me anymore, and if they can't accept me for me, then they really don't need to be around me anyway. Or they will say that, hey, this guy's changing himself, you know, he's turning his life around, changing for the better. Maybe we can make some changes too. Granted, the latter option doesn't always happen as often as we'd like, but it does happen from time to time. So you can't really complain about it. But like I said, the year of change is 2013. No, 2013. I'm getting involved in different things that are going to you know, increase my income. Um, you know, the job that I have is not as good as my previous job, but at least it's an income. You know, at least I'm working for what I have. You know, I'm busting my ass to keep what I have, working to save what I, you know, say what I have, keep what I have, pick your choice of words. But 2013, I'm getting involved, um, either re-involved or more involved with not only increasing my income and making my life better, but also I'm getting involved in, you know, more more social activities. You know, I am, you know, I, I consider myself a, a fairly spiritual guy. You know, I, I go to church, you know, I worship that kind of thing. You know, whatever whatever your faith is, I'm not putting your faith down. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're Christian like I am, you know, Muslim, Jewish, whatever the case is. It, it doesn't matter. I'm not putting your faith down. I'm not putting anybody's religion down. You know, we all have our, we all have our own beliefs. We all have our own ways of worshiping and thinking. But that's what this country is about. It's about the freedom to do so how you want to or whether you want to or not. You know, you if you're... If you were born here, then you know that we have the freedom of freedom of religion, 
to worship who you want, how you want, or, you know, even whether you want. You know, you don't have to. It, getting, you know, that aside, I'm getting more involved in my church. I'm getting involved in, like I said, things that are going to increase my income and just overall changing, you know, and trying to stay healthier, you know, losing a little bit of weight, you know, and of course, 99% of Americans could stand to lose some weight. And, you know, so, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a year of change. And I would I would say that I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of Americans need to change. You know, they need to change the way they think. They need to change the way they act and, and <laughs> definitely need to change the way they eat. You know, there are a lot of a lot of ways that people can change. You know, you can get more involved in the community. You can get more involved in like I'm doing, like with your church, or you know, can you know, get better jobs or promotion at your jobs, or you know, a lot of people are trying to start a business. Now I know small businesses, with the way the economy is right now, it is going to be a struggle. But when starting something like that, you kind of have to start at the bottom. And that's true with any business or any job, really. I mean, think about it. You're not going to walk into a place, hand in a paper application, and say, here, I'd like to be an executive. Nine times out of ten, that ain't going to happen. But when you do walk in there and you'd like to see, you say, I'd like a job, more often than not, you're going to start out at the bottom. And that's true with anything. Whether it's a business, you're starting your own business, you're going to have to start at the bottom. Granted, you're on top. You know, you're up here, and then your employees are going to be down here, depending on your kind of business, whether it's a store or gas station or, you know, whatever the case is. It doesn't matter what it is. But you're always going to have to start out at the bottom, regardless. Starting out at the bottom, and you climb your way up. For some, it's easier than others, and then for some, it's a lot harder than others. But that is the year of change. 2013 we all need to do something. Now, everybody always has New Year's resolutions. Well, 90% of people, they, okay, I'm going to give you, give you an example here. Okay, say, say your, your New Year's resolution is to work out more, okay? Get yourself in better shape. Well, 90% of people who have that resolution of working out and getting themselves in shape, for the first say, for the first 30 days, call it the first month. For the month of January, they might keep it, but for the first week, they'll go, they'll go really intense. They'll go gung-ho on it. And then for the second week, they'll, nah, I don't feel like it right now. I'll, I'll go tomorrow, and they might go tomorrow, and then they kind of they kind of lapse it down, and they kind of back off. And over the course of that first month, they'll back it off more and more and more until the resolution is dead. And that's where, me personally, I'm trying to change it. I'm actually changing the way that I'm, for example, I'm keeping my house a lot cleaner, you know, I'm keeping my car a lot cleaner, changing the way that things are done. And that's actually going to be another thing with um, this particular thing in my YouTube channel. Quite frankly, there's going to be less bitching. And I know I don't have too many videos where I'm, you know, rambling and ranting and pissing and moaning. I have a couple of them, but for the most part, going forward, I guess, and I'm going to leave, probably leave a few of them up. Some of them, like the political ones, I'm going to take down. But I'm going to change it, and it's going to be more positive. You know, I'm, if I find, you know, if I find something that I think is, you know, worth sharing, yeah, hell yeah, I'll post a video about it, and, you know, I'm probably going to put a new playlist up of, you know, just call it a video blog, I don't know. But, I'm going to post, you know, more positive stuff, more uplifting stuff, I guess you could say. And it's not going to be – I'm going to try not to put people down. I mean, granted, okay, there are going to be some things where I'm going to have an opinion and your opinion is going to differ. That's okay. If your opinion differs from mine, then by all means, throw up a comment. Say, I don't agree with you and this is why. But – if you're going to disagree with me, then do it the right way. If disagree, say, okay, put up a comment, for instance, I disagree with you, this is why. Here's my opinion, and it differs from yours in such a manner. That I don't mind. It's the people on YouTube that 
hey, you're wrong, you're full of shit, you're, this is bullshit, and, uh, you know, you're, you're wrong, and they never give you a reason why. And people on Facebook do that, too. Case in point, before the election, I had a friend on Facebook who was actually a, a former co-worker before I lost my job at that other place, and, you know, I went, we were okay. When, you know, working together, I never had a problem with the guy. But when it came to the politics, he turned out to be a complete left-wing liberal and never, basically he would argue with no point. He would say, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, but never give any evidence to prove his point. Okay, okay, no, I don't mind people saying, I don't mind an argument, I don't mind a debate. It's when the person who is trying to debate ends up arguing with no evidence to the contrary. They always just basically flat out, you're wrong and I'm right. You know, I'm right, you're wrong. And they don't give you any evidence to, to prove themselves right or to prove you wrong. That is just, in my opinion, that's plain stupid. Sheer stupidity. But getting back on my positive point. Like I said, 2013 is going to be a year of change, and I'm going to turn it around and make it into positive, you know, be more positive, try to get rid of the negative thinking. And I've actually, I've actually been reading, um, well, I've, I've actually been reading it for a while, but uh, it's, actually, it's actually an excellent book by a gentleman by the name of Gary Cox. And the book is called Don't Let Others Rent Space in Your Head. And actually, I'm going to put, go ahead and I'll put a website in the description below, I would highly advise you check out the book because it is complete and you know absolute truth. I mean, it's an awesome book. I mean, basically, when you think about it, everybody's got somebody else renting space in their head, you know, because you're always thinking about something else. Whether it's, you know, I don't want to go into work tomorrow, or you know, I I, I need a new job or something. You're always thinking about other things. You know, of course, we're always thinking about other things, but. When he says, don't let others rent space in your head, basically what he's saying is you have to focus your thoughts. And by focusing your thoughts, you can start to change the way you think. And I highly recommend getting the book. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Barnes & Noble. I've actually got it for, you know, a Kindle app on my on my Galaxy. And, I mean, I, I have to admit, I haven't actually completed the book yet. I've had it for about six months, and I'm – not really a slow reader, just kind of a procrastinator. But I highly recommend getting the book, and that is, you know, that's a plug, and, you know, I don't make any money off it. So, uh, you know, like I said, you know, Gary Cox, and I've met the guy in person. He's a great guy, excellent author, excellent public speaker. He doesn't even have a – he's even got a YouTube channel, and I'll also put a link to his channel in the description below. So I highly recommend checking it out. But there's a lot of other books you can read, too. You know, there's, many, there's a lot of self-help books, a lot of motivational books, you know, pick your poison, basically, whatever you want to do. But try to make this year, this year's resolutions different from last year's. Because I know 90% of you out there, you know, people who watch this, they've had New Year's resolutions in the past. And, okay, yeah, they might have kept it up for a week, two weeks, a month. Hey, maybe even two or three months. But eventually, 90% of the people who had those New Year's resolutions fell back into their comfort zone. They fell back into their routine of whatever the, whatever it was, you know, waking up, going to work, family times, whatever. They fell back into the routine. And I can about guarantee that because I was the same way. I had the New Year's resolutions for last year. One of them I actually kept, and that was to buy a house, which I did. You know, I got the house. I got my house, got my car. Those are my resolutions. Well, the car wasn't really a, a New Year's resolution, but it was a plan for the future. But, I, again, there again. I'm the same way. You know, I fell right back into my comfort zone, not doing what I told myself I was going to do. And that, for this year, is going to change for me. I don't know about you, but like I said, I highly recommend getting some of those books, getting, like, motivation to make yourself better. Let's, you know, let's bring back America. You know, let's get together as Americans and make our country great again by each changing ourselves. By changing yourself, you can change others around you. In order to change those around you, you must first change yourself. Like I said, I don't remember who said it, but it's an excellent quote. And if we each work on ourselves, each and every American, if we work on ourselves, 
you know, and it doesn't even matter if you're in America. You know, you could be overseas, you know, you could be in Europe or wherever this YouTube, you know, channel goes. You know, whoever sees it doesn't matter. But in order to make the world a better place, you know, I'm in America, obviously. In order to make America and thereby extension the world a better place, each person needs to concentrate on changing themselves. By changing yourself, you can change those around you. And if we each individually concentrate on making ourselves a better person, we can make the world a better place. So, anyway. Thanks for watching. I will uh, catch you guys next time. Who's watching? Tell me who's watching? Who's watching me?